Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today I am quickly and easily going to show you how to install Photo Prism on TrueNAS scale. Okay ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we need to do is jump into Photo Prism. Make sure that you have an account. Also make sure that you have a TrueNAS scale, right? So make sure that these are downloaded. You can now manage your photos on your own hardware with Photo Prism. And you can also enjoy the AI powered organization face recognition, as well as automatic tagging. So the first thing is you need to prepare and configure storage data sets. So you need to create the required data sets. So before installing PhotoPrism, you need to set a proper storage organization on your TrueNAS scale system. This um, entails ensuring that you have a pool designated for applications and then you can create dedicated data sets for PhotoPrism's storage needs. At minimum, you will need separate data sets for, for configuration files and your photo collections. Also, um, so on the right hand side, you'll see over here, so you need to create data sets for PhotoPrism's configuration files and data sets. So here's an example path. Also, you need to create data sets to store your photo collection and then create separate data sets for importing new photos. Um, this is useful for network uploads before adding to your collection. You also need to set proper permissions so you can configure data set permissions to prevent any access issues. All you need to do is add the apps user um, which is the default run as user for PhotoPrism with full access permissions to all your data sets you created. It will ensure that PhotoPrism can read and write to these locations without having any permission errors. The last thing over here you can see is we need to install, configure and access PhotoPrism. So first of all, install PhotoPrism. Then you need to navigate to the apps section in your TrueNAS scale interface. Search for PhotoPrism and click on install. It's literally that easy. In the install, in the installation wizard, you need to enable custom host paths. You can map your data sets to PhotoPrism's storage locations. You can configure point to configuration data sets. Uh, you can, uh, your originals will point to your photo data sets and then you can import as an option, uh, which will point to your import data sets. Then you can access and use PhotoPrism. So once it's installed, you can just click on the open button in the apps interface, log in with your credentials, and then, of course, change your password and begin importing your photo collection. 